Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Manodestra777, and we're back inside of Destiny. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you a little bit about the weapon that is on my back here. This is the Grasp of Maylock. It is possibly one of the most sought-after weapons in the game right now because this pulse rifle shreds, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Grasp of Maylock. Dutiful Maylock Menory offerings of light did he make at the Shrines of Oryx. That's a quote by Eris Moore. Now, you may look at that impact and say, Mano, really? Really? I can tell you guys that because of the balance of the rate of fire and the impact, this thing shreds pretty much in PvP or PvE. I just used it in a couple of PvP games, and boy, it did it make just a huge difference in my gameplay. Guys, I think I got near a god tier roll on my Grasp of Maylock, and this is the first one I've picked up. I've seen a couple other people pick it up, um, but we're going to go through how to get it. Um, talk about the different pieces of the weapons, talk about my particular role. If you guys have gotten this weapon at some point, tell me and share with me your roles that you've gotten. Think if, tell me if you think that they're better. Are they something that you like? Um, are you hoping for a better role? I want to hear those things. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. It helps me out a ton. It lets me know that the content I'm making for you is something that you guys are interested in. So anyway, the, on my pulse rifle grasp of Maylock, I have the red dot ORS, which I like a whole lot. Um, uh, anytime you've got any kind of red dot sight, I like it. An OES might be better, but this is the role I got. Next up, I got Head Seeker, which for me is a huge perk. Um, some people don't necessarily like it because Head Seeker is one of those things where you have to get body shots first before the uh, perk will actually proc. Um, but I particularly like it, um, especially in combination with perfect balance. This weapon has extremely low, low recoil. Allows me to get a lot of headshots on people when I am in the crucible. Next up, I have Feeding Frenzy, and with these two perks together, along with Perfect Balance, I think this thing is just a shredder. I think the only thing that might be a better role is this, instead of Feeding Frenzy, I got Glass Half Full, but that's expecting a lot, especially because of the way that you have to farm to get this weapon. So, here is how you can find and get your grasp of... All right, guys, this is how you can farm for your Grasp of Maylock. It can only drop from Omnigal on the Will of Crota Strike that is from the Dark Below DLC. You can see here that we're using a number of different techniques to kill her before she actually gets into the final boss room in the Will of Crota Strike. This is on the hill area where there's an ogre that is spawned by Omnigal. Um, you can actually now tether her and kill her before she gets up that hill, then she will essentially drop this. It's very repeatable, it's very easy. It maybe takes one to two minutes per encounter for you to rotate and get another rep in of the uh, farming method. So it's very simple, very easy. Uh, I recommend that you bring Sunbreaker Titans or Night Stalker Hunters to the encounter because those are gonna be the two biggest elements that you want. Also, you are going to wanna make sure that you either have a very high rate of fire or high impact shotgun gun, as well as the solar sword. Really, any sword will do, but the solar sword is the best. So here's what you do. First things first, make sure that you have a hunter that has a tether that they can use during this. Um, I, would, I basically looked on LFG for a couple people who were doing this thing, um, and a couple of them started to use the infinite Night Stalker glitch again. I, I don't recommend you do that, um, but you can easily do this with Bloodbound uh, being secure here. Um, and basically here, what we're doing is he's tethering uh, Omnigal a number of times, and we are using our Sunbreaker Titan to take down Omnigal. If you run out of your Sunbreaker, go ahead and go to your sword and use your special attack ability on her during that point. By doing that, you can kill her very easily and very quickly without having to resort to any weird tactics. And sometimes she will make a break for it. Sometimes she will run up the hill, but it's very important that your hunter is the first one to get there to make sure that she hits the, um, she is hit by the arrow and that you instantly Instantly start to smash her with your hammers or your sword, whatever you happen to bring. What I like to do is usually bring either two titans or two hunters uh, that can 
basically chain their tethers or chain their hammers together. By doing that, you guarantee that you're going to do the most damage in the most amount of time. Once you've done this, you will create a whole ton of orbs that you can easily go and pick up as well as get a whole bunch of shotgun ammo and sometimes heavy ammunition so you don't have to use a lot of a lot of uh, synths for your heavy. This is also a great method, say for example, if you are missing armor or materials or weapon parts, this is actually kind of like a loot cave, honestly. And this is just on the basic Omnigal Strike. This is not in the Vanguard playlist. This is not in uh, any of the heroic playlists either. This is literally just um, basic Omnigal, the strike. It's I think it's like level 16 or something like that. Um, and this is where my grasp of Maylock dropped. And actually, uh, the other person who was in this party with me who was looking for it actually received one as well. And you can see here, we just re rinse and repeat. We do this a number of times. It's very repeatable, very easy to do. Um, again, use all the abilities you can to damage her as quick as possible. You can also use the Sunbreaker melee attack to basically burn her for a period of time. I think that is the first one, uh, one under the melee attack. And if she starts to make a break for it, just chase her um, and get things taken care of. Again, this is a great area. Say, for example, I got so many armor and materials and weapon parts. Um, I was able to decrypt a bunch of items as well. So this is a really good idea for you to use if you are missing any materials along with farming for your grasp of Maylock. All right, guys, so I am on Venus right now. We're going to take this Grasp of Maylock that's fully upgraded. It's at 307 out for a little bit of a spin. Let's take a look and just see how awesome this thing is. This thing is just a beast. It just shreds through people. Because of its time to kill, it's a very, very coveted weapon, especially one that people are going to want to bring into Trials, especially with Pulse Rifles essentially being the main go-to gun right now. Maybe some Scout Rifles. I know Boolean Gemini, a lot of people are taking that in. The other thing I like about this gun is its range is superb. It's significantly better than if you took an Auto Rifle into the Crucible or into a PvP or PvE counter. Um, just amazing. This gun is just absolutely a blast to use. It's so fun. Um, I'm really glad I got the perks that I did. I will probably start farming for another roll, um, probably with glass half full at some point, but I usually only spend an hour or two a day, maybe just giving it a grind. Um, and I'll probably take a break for a little bit, especially with Tuesday coming up and the hard raid coming up as well. Um, Probably take some time and want to get through some of that stuff, guys. But anyways, have you gotten a grasp of Maylock? Uh, what is your role? Um, did you get a role that you think is better than mine? Do you think that there's one that you would like to get um, in particular? Uh, how long have you spent farming on it? I want to hear from you guys, especially because this is such a cool, unique weapon and probably one of the most coveted right now in the universe of Destiny. So drop those comments in the comments section below. And guys, I will see you next time in the universe of destiny.